Now let us move on to the fourth question. The question given is find 10 rational numbers between minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. Now let us move on to the solution. So the given two rational numbers are minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. Let us express these rational numbers with a common denominator. Therefore, we shall find the LCM of 5 and 2. As we know, the LCM of two prime numbers is their product itself. Therefore, the LCM of 5 and 2 is 5 times 2 which is equal to 10. Now express each of these rational numbers with their denominator as LCM. Therefore minus 2 by 5 is equal to with 10 as denominator we have 5 times 2 is 10 therefore minus 2 times 2 is equal to minus 4 by 10 and 1 by 2 can be written as with 10 as denominator 2 times 5 is 10 and 1 times 5 is equal to 5 by 10. Now let us find the equivalent fractions of minus 4 by 10 and 5 by 10. Now let's multiply both the numerator and denominator with 2. Therefore we have minus 8 by 20. We shall also multiply 5 by 10 with 2 on both the numerator and denominator. Therefore, we have 10 by 20. Now, we shall write 10 rational numbers between minus 8 by 20 and 10 by 20. They are minus 7 by 20, minus 6 by 20, minus 5 by 20, minus 4 by 20, 0 by 20, 1 by 20, 2 by 20, 3 by 20, 4 by 20, and 5 by 20. Now let us move on to the seventh question. The question is find 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. So let's move on to the solution. The given two rational numbers are 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. Let us express these rational numbers with a common denominator. Therefore, we find LCM of 5 and 4. Since 5 and 4 do not have any factor in common, therefore the LCM of 5 and 4 is their product. That is 5 times 4 which is equal to 20. Therefore, 3 by 5 can be written as with denominator 20, 5 times 4 is 20 and 3 times 4 is 12. Therefore, 3 by 5 is equal to 12 by 20. 3 by 4 can also be written as with denominator 20, 4 times 5 is 20 and 3 times 5 is 15. Therefore, 3 by 4 is also equal to 15 by 20. Now let us find the equivalent rational numbers for 12 by 20 and 15 by 20. So let us multiply 12 by 20 with 8 on both the numerator and denominator. So we have 12 times 8 is 96 and 20 times 8 is 160. And also 15 by 20 is multiplied with 8 on both the numerator and denominator. Therefore 15 times 8 is 120 and 20 times 8 is 160. Now let us write 10 rational numbers between 96 by 160 and 120 by 160. That is the 10 rational numbers are 97 by 120, 98 by 120, 99 by 120, 100 by 120, 101 by 120, 102 by 120, 103 by 120, 104 by 120, 
वन नाट फाइव बै वन ट्वेंटी एंड वन नाट सिक्स बै वन ट्वेंटी Hence, in the same procedure, we can find any number of rational numbers between two given rational numbers by converting the given rational numbers into their equivalent rational numbers. Now, let us move on to the sixth question. The question is: Write five rational numbers greater than minus two. So, let's move on to the solution. We know that. any positive rational number is always greater than the negative rational number therefore any five rational numbers which are positive are always greater than minus 2 and also here minus 1 and 0 are greater than minus 2 therefore the five rational numbers greater than minus 2 are Minus one, zero, one, two, and three. Now let us move on to the third bit of the question. So the given two rational numbers are one by four and one by two. Let us express the rational numbers with a common denominator. Therefore, we need to find the LCM of two and four. The LCM of two and four can be found out by two ones is two and two times two is four. Therefore, the LCM is two times two, which is equal to four. Now we shall write each of the rational numbers with denominator as the LCM. Therefore, one by four itself is one by four because the denominator is four, and one by two can be written as the denominator four. Two times two is Four and one times two is equal to two. Now we shall find the equivalent rational numbers for one by four and two by four. Now let us multiply one by four with eight on both the numerator and denominator. So we have one times eight is eight and four times eight is thirty-two. And also we shall multiply two by four with eight on both the numerator and denominator. Therefore we have two times eight is sixteen. And four times eight is thirty-two. So now we shall write five rational numbers between eight by thirty-two and sixteen by thirty-two. Therefore, the five rational numbers are nine by thirty-two, ten by thirty-two, eleven by thirty-two, twelve by thirty-two, and thirteen by thirty-two. Now let us move on to the second bit of the question. So the given two rational numbers are minus three by two and five by three. Let us express the rational numbers with a common denominator. Therefore, we shall find the LCM of two and three. As we know, the LCM of two prime numbers is their product itself. Therefore, the LCM of two and three is two times three, which is six. Therefore, we shall express each of the rational numbers with denominator as the LCM. Therefore, minus three by two is written as with minus six as denominator. Two times three is six, and minus three times three is minus nine. And also, five by three is written as with six as the denominator. Three times two is six, and five times two is ten. Therefore, we have minus nine by six and ten by six. Now we shall write five rational numbers between minus nine by six and ten by six. Therefore, the five rational numbers are minus eight by six, minus seven by six. Minus two by six, zero by six, and five by six. Now let us move on to the fifth question. The question is: Find five rational numbers between two by three and four by five, minus three by two and five by three, one by four and one by two. 
Now let us move to the solution. Let us first solve the first bit. The first bit is to find the five rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 4 by 5. Let us express these rational numbers with a common denominator. Therefore, we find LCM of 3 and 5. As we know, the LCM of two prime numbers is their product itself. Therefore, the LCM of 3 and 5 is 5 times 3 which is equal to 15. So, now we express each rational number with the denominator as LCM. Therefore, 2 by 3 is written as with 15 as denominator. 3 times 5 is 15. Therefore, 2 times 5 is equal to 10 by 15. And 4 by 5 is written as with 15 as denominator. 5 times 3 is 15 and 4 times 3 is 12. Now, we shall find the equivalent rational numbers for 10 by 15 and 12 by 15. So, let us multiply 10 by 15 with 4 on both the numerator and denominator. So, now we have 10 times 4 is 40 and 15 times 4 is 60. We should also multiply 12 by 15 with 4 on both the numerator and denominator. So now we have 12 times 4 is 48, 15 times 4 is 60. So now we shall write 5 rational numbers between 40 by 60 and 48 by 60. Therefore, the 5 rational numbers are 41 by 60, 42 by 60, 43 by 60, 44 by 60 and 45 by 60. Hence, in the same procedure, we can find any number of rational numbers between two rational numbers by converting them into their equivalent rational numbers. So now let us move on to the third question. The question is, write five rational numbers which are smaller than two. Now let's go to the solution. As we know, any negative rational number is always less than the positive rational numbers. Therefore, any 5 rational numbers which are negative are always smaller than 2. And also, we know 0 and 1 are smaller than 2. Therefore, the 5 rational numbers which are smaller than 2 can be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 1. Now let us move on to the next question. The question is represent minus 2 by 11, minus 5 by 11, minus 9 by 11 on the number line. So let's go to the solution. The rational numbers that we have to represent on the number line are minus 2 by 11, minus 5 by 11, minus 9 by 11. The given three rational numbers are of the form P by Q, where P is less than Q, and Q is equal to 11 for all the three rational numbers. And also, the given three rational numbers are negative rational numbers. Therefore, they lie on the left side of zero on the number line. So let us take the number line. So we shall mark 0, minus 1 and 1. Now we shall divide 0 to minus 1 into 11 equal parts because the denominator of all the given 3 rational numbers is 11. So each division from 0 to minus 1 corresponds to minus 1 by 11. Therefore, minus 2 by 11 is the second division from 0 towards the left on the number line. Therefore, this is the position of minus 2 by 11. And minus 5 by 11 is the fifth division from 0 towards the left side of the number line. So this is the position of minus 5 by 11. 
and minus 9 by 11 is the ninth division from 0 towards the left of the number line. Therefore, this is the position of minus 9 by 11. Now, let us move on to the next exercise. The first question is, represent these numbers on the number line. So, let us go to the solution. There are two bits given. The first bit is 7 by 4 and the second bit is minus 5 by 6. Let us first solve the second bit, then move on to the first bit. So, the in the second bit, the rational number given is minus 5 by 6. It is in the standard form P by Q, where Q is equal to 6. And it is also a negative rational number. Therefore, it lies on the left side of 0 in the number line. 0, 1, 2, 1, 2 and 2. Since q is equal to 6, we divide 0 to minus 1 into 6 equal parts. That is, therefore, each part corresponds to minus 1 by 6. Now, we reach on to the fifth part from 0 onto the left side of the number line. So this is minus 5 by 6. So now let us move on to the first bit of the question. So here we need to represent 7 by 4 on the number line. Now this rational number is in the standard form P by Q where P is greater than Q and Q is equal to 4. So when P is greater than Q, the rational number is in its improper form. Therefore, we shall first convert 7 by 4 in its mixed fraction form. With this is 4 once is 4 and we are left over with 3 as reminder. Therefore, the mixed fraction of 7 by 4 is 1 3 by 4. Now let us take the number line. Since the given rational number is a positive rational number, therefore, the given rational number lies on the right side of the zero in the number line. Therefore, on the number line we represent the zero, one, two, and three. So, the mixed fraction is one three by four. Let us take one full unit and then divide one to two into four equal parts because the denominator is 4 therefore 1 3 by 4 is one full unit and the third division in 1 to 2 this represents 1 3 by 4 or 7 by 4 The fourth bit is reciprocal of 1 by x where x is not equal to 0 is therefore the reciprocal of 1 by x is obtained by interchanging the numerator and denominator which is x. Therefore the reciprocal of 1 by x is x. So now the fifth bit is the product of two rational numbers is always the product of two rational numbers is always a rational number. Now moving on to the sixth bit, the reciprocal of a positive rational number is dash. The reciprocal of a positive rational number is positive. 